Alrighty guys, so I'm going to do a video for each one of the series so you can have some extra practice for those of, the, for those of you who want it. Um, <clears throat> and when I attach the link in Edsby, I'll also add a worksheet. So I'm starting with geometric series rather than nth term because this one seemed to be the one that, I don't know, bothered most students. So I'm just going to start here, but I will do one for each of the tests. They're just not going to be necessarily in any particular order. So a geometric series has this form, right? It has the form of a first term times some number raised to a variable. Okay? The simplest of this type of a series is like this example here. I have a number raised to a power. Now if I want to find my first term, I plug in whatever number is here, so in this case it's a 1, so my a sub 1 is negative 1 third. And my r, right, the common ratio of the geometric series is always whatever this is here, and it's negative 1 third. So what we have to do is determine, does the geometric series converge or diverge? Well, if it converges, r, so it converges, converges, if r is less than 1, Okay, and absolute value of r, right? And it diverges if the absolute value of r is greater than 1. So anytime the common ratio, just by looking at it, just on inspection, anytime it's greater than 1, we know it's going to diverge. If it converges, you have to show the greater what it converges to, and you use this summation formula here, S sub n. For an infinite series, it's the first term divided by 1 minus r. So in this case, I took the absolute value of r to show the greater that it's definitely less than 1. So I um, said this converges to whatever number turns up here. And I just plug in the values and get a negative 1 fourth. So the idea is, is that if I plug in a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and I generate some terms in that series, what I'm going to notice after a while is that the value is going to get closer and closer and closer to negative 1 fourth. Here's 1. <clears throat> That's a little tricky because it might not be spotted right away, but this is definitely a geometric series. Why? Because e to the e is a number first and foremost, and e to the negative n I can rewrite as one over e to the n, which then I can write as the quantity one over e to the n. Just remember that one to the n is one. All right. So I have myself a geometric series here, and r is 1 over e. And if I plug the first value in here, which happens to be a 1, then my first term is 1 over e. Well, e is a number. It's about 2.71. And so what's going to happen is, is whatever this number is, because the bottom is bigger than the top, it's going to be less than 1. Uh, so I know it's going to converge. What's it going to converge to? Some weird little number. If I plug in my first term over my r, well, clean that up, right? This thing is going to converge to 1 over e minus 1. Another example here. This one's a little bit easier maybe to spot. I think I put this one on the test. I don't have the test with me, but I believe I had one similar to this. This is 2 to the n over 3 to the n minus 1. So this is all an exponent here. So by rules of exponents, I want to kind of separate this, right, and write this as 3 to the n times 3 to the negative 1. And, you know, to make this exponent positive, I bring it upstairs uh, into the numerator. So I have 3 times 2 to the n over 3 to the n, which is 3 times 2 thirds to the n. So this is geometric, right? r is 2 thirds, which is less than 1, so I know that that's going to converge. And if I plug the 1 in for n, then the 3's are going to cancel and I'm going to end up with a first term of 2. So since I know it converges, I'm going to plug that information into my summation formula and lo and behold, this converges to 6. Okay, but I have to show all of this stuff for the, to the greater. And finally, here's one that diverges. In this case, it's blatantly obvious, right? This is my r, this is some number raised to a variable, uh, and it's bigger than 1, so I know that this series is going to diverge. And that's it for geometric series, okay? So the point is, is that sometimes you're going to get problems like this, that you're going to have to 
kind of manipulate algebraically a little bit, pull them apart using rules of exponents or whatever to, to get your R. Sometimes you might have something like this, you know, which by instinct I would think you would write this as 1 over E. And remembering that E is just a number, there you go. Okay, it, turn, it turns out that it's a geometric, but you may not notice that right away by looking at that. All right, so that's geometric in a nutshell. There's really not that much more to it. I found a CUDA software um, practice worksheet um, on the internet, so I'm going to attach that along with this link to the video um, in ESB, and I hope that this helps. Have a good day.